I have this giant box. Can you see inside? <laughs> okay, so I have this giant box from fabric.com with um, a few other things in it, but it's almost all fabric.com. So I'm just going to show you my recent purchases. Um, one of my t-shirts. If you don't know, I do have a Teespring shop with some cute sewing things in it. I'm working on getting a, a sample of each one so you can see what I've got. They're cute. So I have that in there because I just threw, they came on the same day. So let me show you. Interfacing. <laughs> a big bolt of interfacing. I don't know about the rest of you sewists out there, but I go through a ton of this lightweight fusible interfacing. So I order it. Um, I go through less of, but I really like the knit, uh, lightweight knit fusible interfacing also. I tend, if I can get a good deal on it, I'll also buy it um, the same way. So I have interfacing. I have, I haven't even opened these from their packages. This is just a Heather Gray sweatshirt fabric. And I'm just gonna make a little sort of wintry dress out of it. So see the pretty Heather Gray? Nice and soft, feel great all winter. Can put it with leggings, can wear it as a dress. This is a beautiful linen that I ordered. Um, I wasn't sure if it was the right color. It looked rusty online. It called it rose. It truly is rose. It's a very beautiful linen. I just ordered um, a yard of it. The thing I was going to make was just a little shell. It's the wrong color. Um, for the person I was going to make it for, but it's a beautiful color and um, my oldest daughter loves these almost um, neutral, very muted colors, so I think I'm going to end up making something for her out of it. She was very happy when she found out it didn't work for the other person, so for her, a dress, if she doesn't find a dress pattern, it's going to turn into napkins. Speaking of napkins, this is also going to be napkins. I'm going to keep these in their little um, packages as much as possible because it says how much I ordered and then I have to go back and look it up. This is just a cotton, like a quilter's cotton. It's really wide. Can you see that? It's just grays. And again, I think I'm going to just make some uh, napkin wear out of this. I bought quite a bit because I want to make sure there, there was enough for an entire um, setting so 8 to 12 napkins. It's really wide though. I think this is like quilt backing um, So it might be 108 inches wide. So nice and wide fabric. You could do other things so that you could make um, Small like a crib sheet out of it. There's a lot of things you could do with this Wait, it's pretty. I like the colors. It's almost this lightest one. It's a little hard to see in the camera is It's gray, but it's a greeny gray. It's very nice and neutral. So Another set of napkins. I do a lot of napkins. I like cloth napkins. I do. And I like to give them as a gift. They, um, they're easy to make. They're handmade. It seems special. It's a good gift thing. And you can really make it custom for the person's home. This is not exciting at all but to look at, but it's wonderful for me as far as sewing. This is 100% cotton, very lightweight t-shirt knit. Um, and this is what I use for lining the crotch of underwear. So, so I make, I, I'll usually do like a day or two days where I just make a whole bunch of undies. And I go through this stuff. I really like it. It's also nice if you're making a little bra, bralette and you want to line it. A nice soft cotton like this is absorbent. It breathes. It washes well. So I just got another yard of this. And this is also 60 wide, maybe wider than that, um, depending on where you get it from. So cotton for undies. Another thing for my oldest daughter. All of my children can sew to some extent. My oldest is capable but does not enjoy it. My middle daughter enjoys it so I don't sew as much for her because she prefers to do it herself. So that's great. And then my son can sew and he's sort of, he's just a creative in general. All of my kids are. This is um, a textured velvet and it's got a little bit of sort of a rose gold so you can see it's a rosy color with a rose gold it almost looks brushed like it like a dry brush technique but it's a velvet and this is just going to become some pillows um, for my oldest daughter's apartment I just wanted to see what it was like it's a fun fabric and I thought oh that could 
could be some interesting things. So I got a little little bit, we'll try it, and it came in a couple colors too. I just like gingham check. I think it's super cute. I have, I will tell you, you know how certain things sort of trigger us, and gingham check, and when I got this in this color, it really kind of did. As a kid, I had a grandmother who um, was one of the ones that helped teach me to sew. And she was very, 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 very strong-willed, her way or no way kind of person. We would go stay with her for a week every summer. And one summer, uh, and we also would go to the Senior Citizens Day with her. They had like a day, my grandmother and grandfather square dance. They were such an interesting and fun couple, really. They had a farm. It was a fun place to go. And I bought a cute new outfit to wear to the day we went with them to their dinner and all the stuff. We went as grandkids with our grandparents to the Senior Citizen Center for the day. And I purposely bought, mom took me out to get the cutest outfit to wear for the day that we were going to be there. And when I showed up to stay with my grandmother, she made me a gingham check. It was bigger than this, but a bright gingham check, um, like onesie. It, I was 12, almost 13. And it was just, it had buttoned down the front. It was like shorts. It didn't have a belt. It didn't have anything. It was like wearing a sack with legs. I remember she was so excited about it. She thought it was the cutest thing ever. I remember hating it so much. I felt, and I was a curvy 12 year old. Like I didn't look 12, I looked 17. And so I had a woman's figure in this sack. It was so unattractive and I remember being so embarrassed and she made me wear it Senior Citizens Day because all of her friends were there and she wanted them to see what she made for me. And I remember being mortified. I had bought the cutest pink little suit. It was like little shorts and it had a little over top and a little tank top that went under it and it tied and it was had a little embroidered collar. It was so adorable and I didn't get to wear it. And I remember just being like, I cannot believe. And I tried changing twice. She was like, made me go back in and change again. Oh my goodness. So I did not wear gingham check. I didn't want anything to do with gingham check. I hated gingham check for years. Like it took me into past college, well into adulthood before gingham check could be introduced back into my life. So here it is. I'm redeeming it. It's hot pink. I have that favorite little um, blouse that I've made lots of times. I made it the daisy print and it's just a raglan top with elastic in it. And I think I'm just going to make this into that. But that's what I want. <laughs> Story time with Stacy. So the last thing that I have in here, besides a pattern that should be, okay, I'm going to pull up this pattern. This is going to be coming up soon. I've shown the pattern before in my pattern haul, but I found the fabrics I want for this. So let me show you the fabrics I've chosen. And this has three fabrications in it. It has the all over, it has what's the color of placket and cuff, and then it has just one that's a little bit of an accent color that's the pink on this. And what I've chosen for the all over is this toile design in yellow. Now yellow is not necessarily my best color, but see, you can see it's pretty pale. It's not, and it's a very pretty toile. So this is the all over design. Isn't that pretty? I love these figural type patterns. I just think they're so pretty. And this, doesn't this look French country? There's just so much to it. It also looks like a really nice men's shirting. And it is. It's a very high quality cotton. So I got this. Cute, cute. So that's the all over. And then I got gingham. It's a small gingham. Let me take it out so you can see it. The camera. In the camera you get a real shine off that. So I got this nice gingham to do for the placket, the cuffs, and the inside of the collar. So together, looks like that, which I just, I just love the look. And then I have a couple fabric options for that little outer ring, um, keeping with my blue and yellow. I'm gonna set that one aside. This one is just a little floral like this. So here's option one. I don't know if I love this. Um, the thing with anything like this, I, it will end up getting turned into masks or coasters or a zipper bag. Like I use all of my fabric up. And I also will have days where I'll have my kids and sewing friends, they'll be like, okay, not using any of this. Take what you want, clean it out. So there's that one. Or <clears throat> this is the daisy that I made that favorite raglan top in. And 
I just love this fabric so much. And it comes in a lot of colors. Like I probably would make this, I just think this is the cutest pattern. Just really appeals to me. So this might, I have a feeling this is gonna end up being the one that I, I just like how light it is. The other one looks a little dark compared. See, it's just a little darker. I think I prefer the lightness of this. So this coming, coming soon to a video near you. I'm very excited about it. So we'll be making that very soon. So this is, I'm gonna stick this back in its sack. This is my most recent haul from fabric.com. Quite a fun few projects in it. I don't show every project I sew. I sew a lot. I'm just not always showing it on camera because everything I sew on camera, I have to turn around and edit. And that's time consuming. And it cuts into my sewing time. <laughs> and let's face it, we can't have that. So if I can figure out a way to edit, um, to streamline my editing a little bit, I tend to be, uh, you probably can't tell on your end, but I'm a little nitpicky. And I try to edit out all of my ums and my pauses and my throat clearing and my coughs and my rubbing my nose and all of those things. I do my best to edit them out if I can. I'm also a stream talker. I just don't, I just talk and my thoughts come even though I have sort of an outline of what I wanna say. And sometimes I'm still saying the important pertinent thing while I'm rubbing my nose. And so I struggle with getting the videos edited in a way that I'm happy with. So I'm working on that. I'm growing as um, a creative person in a new way. That's a new thing for me. Happy sewing.